producer of the documentary, Winnie. She asked Sidney Mufamadi if he was aware that Jerry Richardson was promised 10,000 Rand for information that resulted in the murder of three senior MK cadres. This is what uh, Mufamadi had to say. I know that has, Hank Hesslinger was in the murder and robbery squad, right? But I'm not naive to think that the murder and robbery squad, when it is investigating things around Winnie, Stratcom will not be interested. Because, because there are things which implicate Stratcom because they infiltrated the team. Now, the people who wanted to ensure that there is no truth commission, which would uh, bring Stratcom operations under scrutiny, would also want to make sure that if they can, they control Hesslinger's findings. They don't lead, you get the point I'm making? It, it, it's, it's simple logic. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm saying, they can't be uninterested, the Stratcom people, in what, in what Hesslinger was doing. And, and if I appeared to be conflating the two, I was making the point that there can't be lack of interest in what Hesslinger was doing. Now, Goldstone was not looking at the work of the murder and robbery squad. Eh? No, no, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, but the, the, principally, you were dealing with the issues of politically motivated violence. No problem to bring in competencies in that, that investigation that are relevant, including murder and robbery detectives. But I'm not saying I question uh, Hesslinger's credentials. They were questioned by his peers there, not by me, in the Goldstone Commission. And I say, go and talk to Goldstone about it, or to the other people who were his peers there. Jerry Richardson, um, he is in prison. And this is the problem that the special, the, 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 the Stratcom people had. Because when somebody is in prison who was part of these things, and you have people outside who do not want to go to the Truth Commission, they fear that there is somebody who might want to talk. He's sitting in prison. Do you get what I'm saying? Because there is a precedent. Joe Mamasella, when he was in prison, for completely unrelated issues, and he was about to go to the gallows, he started spilling the beans, implicating people who were outside. So Jerry in prison is a threat to the Stratcom people because they cannot reach him and say, don't go and say the following to the Truth Commission. So if people who were reinvestigating these issues went to Jerry Richardson, they, they were right. It's a, 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 a lightly source of the information they are looking for. So Jerry Richardson says, I know where the bodies are, but I won't tell you because the police owe me 10,000 rand. Now, Really, let's just discuss as people. Would you say, we don't give you 10,000 rand, you can sit with your information? I think that would have been irresponsible. Think, think, think like the... So, so you did know that? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I, 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 that, that, you did know that he was paid well. Yeah, yeah, but what, 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 I, I must, I must make, make this point. point. The, the police, police don't come to me and say we are being an informer. Because I'm not one of them, I'm a minister. I want you to go to, to press conferences where I sat and said so many people were arrested. I always said the police have arrested, so I never said we. 
you, you will never see me in police uniform. So they can't say to me, we are paying this informer, we are paying that informer. But I'm saying, when they subsequently said so 